repair spot today. Got a couple friends coming out. You know Thomas is in his big turbo SR2240. We got Andrew back behind me in his 550 horsepower N54 135. And then we also have Jordan in his 350. So it's gonna be a really fun day. We're gonna teach Jordan how to drift today. It should be a great time. Links. We out here right now, boys. This is the secret drift spot, is it it's not? It's a secret, don't tell nobody. Yep, don't tell anyone. You heard it from the man himself. What's up, Poon Garage viewers? Say what's up. What's up, Poon Garage viewers? Say what's up. What's up, Poon <laughs> Garage viewers? All right, we're gonna take this kid because he's a little spooked. I am a little bit We're gonna show him the layout. You haven't even seen the layout yet. I've literally never been here. So, let's see where Tommy Thomas is. He's probably coming around over here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, okay. What's up, bro? Huh? Yeah. What you gotta do? Yeah, but you had an e-brake. No, I didn't. I had no handbrake. Oh um, what you gotta do in the beginning, just straighten out at those like one spots and just do the don't corners. Try to transfer so you don't spin the car. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Are you out of tire? All right. The whole time following you, I was like, out of tire. Did you get like pretty close or not really? No. If I had bad tires, I could have caught you. But I couldn't even, dude. I was just like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I want to follow you next. Yeah, dude. Dude, you were ripping that thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you were gonna start dripping the first one. I was like, oh, no, I was just feeling the tires oh, and warming them. Was like, oh. How was it? <laughs> was it rad, bro? Rad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go kill off the rest of these. All right, have fun. Wait, how many laps do you get? Huh? How many laps do you get? Like two. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do this spot over here, though which is even more fun. You'll see, we're already on like no tire. Yeah, we're already you're, you're on tire. <laughs> Whatever. I normally start right here, but we have no tire. So we're gonna start over here. decided to come off the car but it's okay <laughs> all right let's go let's go learn <laughs> you got tires on how many tires do you did you bring enough but okay that's all i was wondering we're gonna get some laps in today thomas bet all right so we'll just go to the call the sack down there real quick you can practice the donuts and then 
entries as well. Okay. All right, guys. So to start learning how to drift or do donuts, so to speak, you're gonna want to find a safe area like this, preferably private property or like closed track or whatever. I'm not responsible to whatever happens if you get in trouble or crash. We have Jordan over here in his 350Z. He just picked this thing up. Stock engine, that's what you want when you're starting off. You don't want a lot of power. You wanna just get all the fundamentals down and this thing is just gonna stay reliable. If it's stock engine and low powered, it really can't break. So just doing a little rundown of the car. This thing has what? It has the GK Tech dual caliper handbrake. You'll definitely want a handbrake. You don't need it, but this will really help you out if you ever need to like scrub speed or whatever. But when you're doing donuts, you really don't need a handbrake. And then he just has a steering wheel and a nice seat to keep him in place. You don't need any of these things, but it just helps kind of helps keep you in place but you can easily slide a stock car you want it to be rear wheel drive preferably welded diff or lsd it's a lot more consistent and predictable with the welded diff because the wheels are at the same exact constant speed whereas the lsd you'll have like a little bit of irregularities I'm just going to start teaching him how to do some donuts really hasn't driven a lot we did like a couple little slides yesterday just because like we wanted to but this man is pretty fresh to drifting aka i'm terrible Perfect platform for teaching. Yeah. <laughs> so when you start off, you want to drive forward. Okay. You'll like want to come to the outside of the, wherever you're at, like a cul-de-sac, turn the wheel as it is, and then you're going to give it gas. So jab the foot. gas so then it just oversteered and came all the way around so if you're about to oversteer and all like spin out basically you're gonna want to let off gas and it'll start straightening your car out but that was good that sand gets real slick I kind of felt it yeah I know you there. definitely hit that sand and you gave it more gas as soon as you hit the sand so it was just like a double negative mm -hmm. <laughs> so he initiated just with the pedal mm -hmm. you can also initiate with a clutch kick I mean, if you don't care about your drive shaft or axles or anything, you can clutch kick and the clutch. That's not the greatest for the clutch, but whatever. It's a drift car. It's going to get clutch kicked a lot. But yeah, so he did it with just the gas. So you can do it like that. If your car doesn't have a lot of power, you'll probably have to clutch kick. So you want to show him how we do that. Sure. We can go left now. So you're going to rev it up and let off the clutch. And you see how he just jabbed the wheel and then let go? You saw that he kind of, not a lot of steering movement. You're really not gonna do a lot with your steering wheel when you're doing donuts. You're gonna do a lot with your pedal. So more gas, like I said, brings you out more. Less gas brings you in more. More gas gives you more angle. So you have more oversteer and then less gas will straighten you out. And one thing I noticed when I first started doing this was the fact that I was really scared to let the car steer itself. Yeah, I was like wrestling so it the in whole the beginning time. you kind of saw that he let go of the steering wheel at the initial you'll do the initial jolt and you'll let go of the steering wheel to let the car kind of slide out and then you'll you're gonna catch the steering wheel and you want to keep your hands close when you let go you don't want to like let go like this you want to keep kind of keep them close to the steering wheel to get ready to grip it again and you're gonna grip it as soon as the car starts to slide you're gonna grip it and then you're just gonna hold it and do very minor adjustments so yeah, that was perfect. You want us to try entries now, I guess? Sure. Okay. This first entry will probably have you do with a handbrake. Okay. The good thing about this spot is we have like a little run up. This is perfect to practice entries and everything. So you have like a run up into a cul-de-sac that's like perfect and you can find these pretty much anywhere. When you're about to enter, you want to give yourself a good amount of distance and you can really just enter as fast as you want basically, but you just have to change where you're entering. So the faster you go, you got to enter sooner. So 
with him being this far away, he's probably only gonna get to like about 20 miles an hour. So he's gonna go right about here and then probably start entering right about here. So you wanna give yourself a little bit of space when you're practicing just so you don't go completely off. So he's letting me drive his car real quick. I'm just gonna do an entry. So basically you're gonna start probably not that fast when you're getting the hang of it. And then you're gonna come over here to the corner, yank it. You see how I let go of the steering wheel? And then you can still practice the donuts, but I would probably exit just so you don't, you save on tire. Cause once you get the donuts down, you're gonna wanna save tire for bigger boy yeah, things and do, do like entries. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. So we're gonna enter a little bit faster. We'll just stay in first, so it's not crazy. See how we're going a little bit faster though? So we're gonna pull it sooner. You want the consistent pedal so that you're not fighting the car. When you're feathering the gas and like jabbing it a bunch of times, it's just not as consistent. The car is straightening out and doing weird things. So if you're on consistent power and just having the revs kind of just sit where you want them, like wherever the sweet spot is, so where you're not spinning out, that's perfect. Cause then the car is just smooth. So you're gonna yank and turn in mm -hmm. and then let go of the steering wheel, catch it. Okay. A Z is a great beginner car. This or like even an E36, I love my car because like it just doesn't break and it really teaches you everything about drifting because it has no power. And then obviously when you're pulling the handbrake, you're gonna want to put your foot on the clutch as well and then let off the clutch as you let off the handbrake. And if you're going too fast, you can always use a little bit of foot brake to slow you down as well. Mm -hmm. Draw to the edge, edge more, yank it, perfect, perfect. Stay on the gas, more gas, more gas. That was good. Draw to the edge, out to the edge, yank it. Gas, gas, more gas, more gas. <laughs> this Almost man's already working his way to transitions. <laughs> we haven't gotten that far yet, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's so fun. Thomas and I are about to tan him. He's going to lead. Okay. This thing actually corners pretty well. Oh, yeah. It's a BMW, bro. <laughs> to go out in the 135 let's get the comments it's too clean bro dude he can't drift it's, it. it's too, too clean, clean. it's do too it. clean bro don't drift it bro it's way. too clean don't ruin it all right here we go this course is a little scary this is the tightest i've ever driven
clutch kick it a little bit harder, throw a little more angle, and probably straighten out at that one section just to keep it clean, keep the car out of a ditch. That was good, dude. <laughs> that was sick, man. Good job. I gotta see that. Good job, dude. You're gonna like the video. So next, we're gonna teach you guys how to do like a Scandinavian flick or whatever entry. So with that, you're gonna clutch kick to get the car this way, and then handbrake, or you don't have to use the handbrake, but when you're learning, you're definitely gonna want, probably wanna use the handbrake because it's kind of like a cheat tool. So like you'll use the clutch to flick it one way, and then make sure the car like rotates the other way. So like it's a lot better to do this if you have like not a lot of power and you need like all the momentum to enter in a corner. So if you don't have a lot of power, you want to do the Scandinavian flex. So just... so yeah, that's basically how you do that. Like you'll just clutch kick, get the car out, and then handbrake. So I don't know if you want to try that. Um, you can try it right here with first gear. So I'm gonna have you come over here. You'll be over here on this side yep. for this clutch one. Kick. So your clutch kick, you'll be right here and then enter. Okay. So instead of driving to there, you'll use the clutch kick to kind of throw the car out and then just kind of get you in there. And it'll be a lot faster because you're like moving the car, you know, yeah. using all the car to throw yourself in. And with the clutch kick, you're really just like stomping it real fast, right? Yep. So like, You'll literally just have your foot on the gas and just okay. as you kick it, you're gonna put put the gas in more. Nothing like some sweaty dirt on your face. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Give her a go. See if you mess up finally, because you have yet to mess up this whole Once. time. <laughs> so I'm gonna come. Stay on this corner right here. Yep. Woo! There's the mess I up. I jinxed it. <laughs> So um, you got a little bit scared. Yeah. And you kind of like let off the gas. Mm -hmm. Go over here. Clutch kick. Okay, get it. There you go. Yep. That was a lot better. That's not you that you were just left. hanging it out a little too long. On the clutch kick? No. So like you clutch kicked, you had the car over here. Mm -hmm. You were staying like this way too long. Okay. So you were like about to just go in the grass because you were just staying like this and you were like basically just drifting right. Mm -hmm. So you want to just do like that nice clutch kick and then right after you want to turn you want okay. to make sure you're turning because you were just on it like still for a while yeah yep perfect there you go now you kind of know how to scandinavian flick or Whew. do like a whatever entry <laughs> that's that scary doing that the first time isn't it kind of scary but like I, for me i love it because it like sets you up for the corner pretty well especially if yeah. you're trying to come in fast that feels a lot more like drifting. Right? You're getting closer yeah. to it, yeah. Perfect. All right, show us one of the uh, handbrake entries. So for the handbrake entry, you're just gonna come out to this corner instead of that corner, and then just yank it in. That was good, bro. Was you like, came all the way out. Like, it, I'll just <laughs> that was good, bro. This man, I swear, I swear on my life, this kid literally started drifting yesterday. Like we did maybe a couple donuts and figure eights yesterday. So he is very new to drifting. I'm just messing around at this point. All right. That's no, okay. You just need more wheel speed. Oh. Are we stuck? <laughs> Damn it. I think you're stuck. 
So yeah, when you're learning, stuff like this happens, but it's all part of the game. We just got a little stuck. Nothing wrong with the car or anything. It's just in the dirt. Let's go get the dually. Thank God we have a truck out here. <laughs> Woo! You just needed more wheel speed because yeah. it wasn't the tires weren't spinning, so you were just kind of straightening and doing weird things. So, mm -hmm. all she's right, stuck. Hop on. <laughs> yeah, she's stuck. Hold on, you went to Finito. Oh boy, this man said, "All right, I'm gonna give it all the gas." Hello, Andrew. Hi, Nico. Is your car broken? Oh. No, it's just really hot. Okay. <laughs> oh, there she is. There oh, she is. is right there. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. loop around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're getting somewhere, Thomas. We're getting somewhere. All right, undo that one. That one. That was a good idea, though. I like, I like what you Oh, it's stuck in there. <laughs> no, it's stuck. No. Oh, no. Dude, that shows how well that was in there. <laughs> yeah, it was in there. Yeah, it would have worked. I bet. If it would have tied that around this, it would have worked. Oh, yeah. And then it would have pulled the bash bar out more because it was yeah, cause in it was an good. accident. Yeah. Send it. All right, baby, you got to sit down. <laughs> Nah. Oh boy. He just didn't even tell you, but we're good now. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. <laughs> we're about to dig to China, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> almost, almost made it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh, there's your exhaust oh, there's your right exhaust. there. Powder, bro. They're fine though. Or it was your Ooh, diff, I don't even know. Right there, that was though. your oil no, pan, that, bro. That's my exhaust. It only scraped right there, though. Yeah. Only one spot. Yeah, you're cool. good. We're good. My side skirt's a little dirty. Car's a little dirty. Yeah. Anybody got any zip ties? Yeah. Bro, what kind of question is that? We got bad, zip bad ties on deck, bro. Oh, dude. Hood dude, hood. dude. Hood gone wrong, dude. <laughs> Pranks in the hood <laughs> gone wrong. <laughs> Jordan has to go because it's his mom's birthday. And he really shouldn't be here anyway right now, but we're still sending it. She's gonna drive next, do donuts and stuff, <laughs> and shred and do tandems. <laughs> he's changing his tires because they're all done. And then he's gonna get out of here. I think I'm gonna go drift with Thomas a little bit more, and then I don't know. Andrew's probably gonna. I don't know. Maybe we could have three car tandems or something. Okay, bye. Jordan. Say bye. See ya. So, I'm gonna follow him, you're gonna follow me. All right? Oh boy, All right. Oh boy is right. done though. is a drift car, what do you mean? Yeah, but it's like actually becoming a drift car now and it's scary. <laughs> Dude. Isn't it nice having a drift car though? It is. Like a dedicated the drift car? Huh? Look how bubbled the tire is. Oh yeah. I was driving crooked, it was so <laughs> Dude, it was a sick day though. Oh, no, it's so fun. No. Oh no. What? Yeah, it'll do that. This is 
that just adds some character. It's like that little bit, you know, that little bit that someone's like, all right, he drifts this thing, you know? It's how I want Why do you think that my bumper is the way it is? <laughs> That's why you can't belt them like that. And the shot over to your bumper. <laughs> What like tool butter. is this right here? This is the butter, yeah, dude. Butter, Look at that, right off. That's the first time it's done that on this car. Yeah. There will be many more. Don't worry. <laughs> dude. So yeah, let's let's just uh, we're gonna take a moment here and we're gonna look at all the tire carnage. So yeah, we are all out of tire, all of us. So that's gonna be it. Good skids. Very good skids. Good skids. Are you as scared of this spot now? No. Good. I need to e brake. <laughs> yes. One thing I wanna show you guys real quick. We got an E46 radiator in here now. Things thick, cause my other radiator is leaking. And we had to do some, I am. We had to do some custom work right here but that fits amazing i literally just heated that brass fitting and then slid it in the plastic and dude it works so perfect fan barely fits in there but this car literally stays too cold sometimes so it's awesome and then we changed out the filter as well it's really dirty now but whatever but yeah s54 radiator fits in the e36 literally stock hoses connects right up if you guys are wondering and it's a lot thicker than the thin e36 ones so i would highly recommend you can literally see right there frozen this thing just keeps shooting down unless i'm drifting it'll maybe see the middle like insane this thing is just too cold now insane 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 all right guys that is gonna be it for this video completely covered in dirt and tire and whatever else but that's gonna be it for this video guys had blast driving today so happy i was able to show jordan how to drive hopefully it helped you guys out because i know a lot of you guys are learning let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this i'm down to show you guys whatever just leave it down in the comments give me some ideas but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one